Hey makers this is Ruvin and in this episode I am going to talk about AI prompts in Power Platform so first of all let's try to understand what is AI prompt and which kind of use cases we can solve with the help of this specific concept over here i am on my machine and this is my power apps home page simply clicking on more option and over here you will be finding an option ai hub just click on that once you click on that it will be opening the ai page for you from here you can simply click yourself and click on ai prompt from here once you click on that basically it will navigate you to this page now first let's try to understand what is ai prompt and what kind of use cases which you can cover up with this in the world of ai we know that what is generative ai whenever you are providing any kind of prompt or any kind of message to your generative ai basically based on the input you provided it is creating a response according to that in technical world that is called as a prompt now with the help of prompt engineering and better prompt you can generate any kind of result that you wish to have over here let me just talk about some of the use cases around that now in power platform ai builder we can create our own custom prompt by our own by defining the prompt logic over here also with that they also providing some out of the box template as well like let's say for an example you have some data from that data you want to summarize your text then you can you simply use this particular template now over here you can see that there is a predefined template available to summarize our your text so basically this is taking the dynamic value from your data and uh, this is what the prompt it is provided and the prompt is written in a way that please summarize uh, the given text in a way that it is easy to understand for a general audience and uh, there is some more precise description being provided over here and depending on that it will generate the whole content for you okay this is one of the example of uh, prompt template now let's say for an example sometimes you want to extract some information from your data and when you have json structure as a as an output you can provide your output in this way and you can write a prompt that from that what are the information you want to retrieve and depending on that this generative ai prompt will uh, retrieve that information and provide it to you also the same can be used as a uh, let's say for an example if you want to classify the text which means that you assign a set of predefined categories category uh, to open and read text then it will classify the text from it as well sometimes we you have a requirement where you want the complaint to be automatically responded let's say someone logged a complaint and ai will automatically identify the context and it should automatically respond to that with the help of ai at that time you can simply use this particular template as well and when you open that it is just showing a, a template like this which will tell you that in which way you need to think and in which way you need to reply to the text that is provided to you okay so this type of uh, prompt are very important when you are working with the ai industry now let's talk about our own custom use case let's say for an example i have a requirement over here like i have one microsoft form where customer is filling the customer satisfaction form after purchasing the product now over here let's say for an example they are selecting the product they are uh, providing the overall rating to the service support their overall experience they provide their own comment and entering the email and clicking on submit now what i want to do as an organization is I want AI to be involved when this response is submitted. So let's say for an example, as a user, I fill up this form, I submitted my response. Now, what my AI should be able to do is it should summarize this whole form summary, and providing me the suggestion that uh, was the customer experience was good or bad. It find out the sentiment from this overall uh, rating form. Along with that, it also provide me the suggestion that how can I improve my services in the future. So for that, we can use this prompt method. To to write our own custom prompt here in the prompt we will take the input from microsoft form and depending on the input that we have provided it will think like a customer satisfaction manager and generate the final output to me so now how to start by building this kind of prompt for yourself let's have a look first of all let's click on create a text with gpt using a prompt 
Once you click on that, it will show you this kind of box. Just clicking on create custom prompt and provide the name of your prompt. Here I am providing the prompt name as YT customer satisfaction prompt. And here now you need to provide the overall prompt for yourself. Here there is an option to add a dynamic value from where you want to take that particular input for yourself. Now let's write a prompt over here. Now you need to think as a prompt engineer and need to write a prompt in a way that it will give you the proper result. So here I'm just typing my prompt in a natural language. Act as a customer satisfaction manager. Here I want to create a summary. So I will write here like create a short summary based on the following parameter. Now I will supply the parameters over here. But before that I'm just typing here like the customer is providing a rating is out of five. The overall satisfaction rating is this one. Now here what I want to do is simply I just want that value to be taken dynamically. So what I will do here is I will simply place my cursor over here and simply click on this particular option add dynamic value. As soon as you provide that it will just provide you this kind of input box inside that and over here I'm just providing the stuff as overall satisfaction rating and just come out of the stuff and that's how it looks like. So here, whenever you want to provide that particular input from your data, you can just provide it into this way. So what I'm doing here is here, I'm just providing the value that what customer has entered into their data. Then I can enter the product or service quality rating is this one. So let's add dynamic value. So and just provide the same name service quality rating. So we will take that as a dynamic as well. Also, we have the customer support rating as well. So we will just provide a prompt like the happiness of connecting customer support is this one. We will add the dynamic value from the form. So what type of rating they have provided, we just pass it over here. Also, we will provide like customer has provided any additional comment. So we will take that as well into consideration. The customer additionally provided this comment and let's provide that comment in the dynamic value. Now I will give the instruction to my prompt that analyze the rating, analyze the rating and comment and tell me the sentiment of the overall satisfaction for the product. Also tell me the in the first line as a decision if the feedback is positive or negative and create a one paragraph summary of customer happiness. Also suggest how we can improve that in the future. So this type of customer prompt I have provided over here. Now let's taste this prompt. And to taste this, we need to simply click on taste your prompt. And this will open this kind of interface. Here you simply need to provide the rating for yourself. So let's say for an example, I am providing here the overall rating as two, service quality rating as three, or customer service rating as again two, I'm just providing a comment in a way that I try to connect many times to customer care executive. However, they do not have enough knowledge about the thing I'm asking for them. So worst experience for me. Okay. So I'm just providing this type of stuff over here. And now let's taste the prompt and see what it is returning to me. So let's wait. And you can see that it is preparing the output for us. Now let's scroll down. And this is what it generated as an AI response. So you can see that based on the content that we have provided, it generated its own response. Let's try to understand this response. So here it is saying that based on the provided parameter, the customer has given the overall satisfaction rating two out of five. Okay. So it just printed that this indicates that the customer satisfaction with the product is low. So it automatically identify the sentiment of the statement. Also, it provided that the sentiment of the overall satisfaction is the negative feedback because we have provided in the prompt that tell me in a clear language whether uh, uh, this particular uh, feedback is positive or negative. So it is clearly saying that, OK, this is negative. Now, what it does as an expert in terms of service quality, the customer has expressed dissatisfaction up with the experience. They mentioned that they try to connect customer care multiple times, but found that representative lack of knowledge about the issue they were facing. The customer described it as the worst experience. So it also highlighted the comment over here. Now, 
we also tell in our prompt that okay suggest us how we can improve this in the future so now it is providing the improvement area as well like to improve the customer care in the future it is important to address the issue of the customer support knowledge providing comprehensive training to customer care executive so that they can help us better understand and assist the customer with their queries additionally implementing system to track and resolve the customer complaint efficiently can enhance the overall customer satisfaction so it providing you the suggestion as well okay so this is what i need as my outcome and i am feeling pretty much happy with the prompt i have written here okay so once you are happy just clicking on save my prompt so that will save your prompt over here let it to be saved meantime it is saving this prompt if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far please do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform also if you haven't subscribed my channel so far subscribe my channel so here we are you can clearly see that your custom prompt has been saved successfully and here we are my prompt has been published successfully over here now it's time to configure this particular prompt with the power automate flow and for that what we will do here is simply we have this microsoft form whenever user will submit this particular form at the same time we want to trigger our power automate flow and wanted to generate this summary also with that i want to store this information into sharepoint list so here i have created this kind of sharepoint list where i have title information overall rating service rating support rating comment and what the summary and recommendation this is what the ai generated output that i wanted to store over here so now let's get started so first of all let me go to make.powerautomate.com let's start creating a fresh new flow i am just creating automated cloud flow and i am selecting a trigger when a new response is submitted in microsoft form and let's create a flow over here the first thing is that we need to select the form so let me select my form i just selected the customer satisfaction form then i need to get the response from the form so I'll just type a action get response again select the same form over here provide the response id so from previous step we are getting the response id already let's just pass it let's add an another action over here search for the ai builder and over here we just need to use this particular action create a text with gpt using a prompt let's select it as soon as you select it it will show you the option of the prompt so this is the prompt that we have recently created that prompt is available over here let's select that as soon as you select the prompt you need to provide all the parameters over here inside the power automate flow so let's provide input service quality rating so simply click on the dynamic content and that is the detail you will get from the form so over here let's print out the details here i'm just providing service quality rating same way here i need to provide the customer support rating over here i need to provide overall rating here i need to provide comment so we provided all the four parameters which we have created during the prompt creation process after that whatever result we are getting we need to store it into sharepoint list so we will use an action create item provide the site address and list name click on show all and now let's try to insert the value so first of all over here let me just add the email of the user along with that let me just provide the name of the product as well so i'm just using pipeline and i just appending the product name as well let's provide here the overall rating so when you click on that it i am not able to select it because overall rating is somehow the number column so let me add all the columns over here like overall rating simply select it cut it and paste it over here same way let's add the service rating okay let's select it cut it and paste it same way support rating let's provide it select it 
cut it and paste it over here I'll directly add the comments and summary and improvement is somewhat which is generated by the ai over here so whatever is written by this specific action we need to provide here so over here you can see that generated text so let's provide this generated text as an outcome over here so let me just add that and that is providing the whole description perfect and now let's save this and now let's provide the name of the flow AI generated response let's save this out now let's taste this out so I'm simply clicking on taste and click on manually and now let's fill up the form here I'm providing MacBook overall service rating 5 overall here as well 4 here let's provide 4 and let me just add somehow some comments so let me add some sort of positive comment over here i am just providing a comment like this the overall process of the product purchase was so smooth they are so time punctual about the delivery uh, proper direction was provided by the executive and the executive answered all the question and best experience ever and let me just add a email address simply clicking on submit and the form has been submitted meantime let's check the flow run as well and here we are the flow run successfully and if we look at this action we provided all the values over here as a part of input and the output was also generated and item is created into sharepoint list now let's look at the list data so i'm going to my sharepoint refreshing my list and here we are let's just click on that item and see what kind of summary it generated over here so this is the ai generated summary and it is saying that it is a positive feedback customer is happy and the summary and what are the future improvement area that also been provided over here so this is the perfect end-to-end -end use case where we can use the AI prompt to meet our real business requirement like this. So that's it for today. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up, subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. Looking for any paid consultation or any kind of training, visit my website www.powerplatformtrainings.com all the links are available to follow me on all of my social media handle along with Twitter and Instagram are available in the description box. So see you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.